The William Joseph Confluence Chess Pack. Hi, I'm Doug Roberts from Backyard Bass, an affiliate of the Hooked Up Network on YouTube. Today we're going to go through the different features and our thoughts on the William Joseph Confluence Chess Pack. We're going to start from front to back and go through each of the features associated with this pack. So let's start with the overall pack itself. Uh, as far as storage goes, there's about 2,000 cubic inches of storage. It could be a little bit more. For the minimalist, it is perfect. You'll fit everything you need to on this. If you're the type of person who likes to carry everything out on the stream with you, this might not be the best option, however. Uh, it's about 2 pounds, 2 ounces, so it's fairly light uh, before you get all of your gear in here. Also, the shoulder straps. Uh, it's an adjustable air track suspension, so it really distributes the weight evenly across your shoulders and across the front and back of your torso uh, where you have all of your gear stored. Then our favorite feature about the William Joseph chest pack, uh, the Confluence chest pack, is the no-zip technology. And this is essentially it's a rare earth magnet, which is what William Joseph calls it. So your pocket, your front pocket, will just snap into place. No zipper required. Sometimes being out on the stream fumbling with the zipper, that can be very difficult. This feature is our absolute favorite with the chest pack. Now, that magnet also opens up some additional opportunities for you. Uh, to demonstrate this, I have a woolly bugger here. And what we always do whenever we're done with the fly, before putting it straight back into the box, or even while you're rigging up, you can just put your fly right there and it's not going anywhere. You know, this is a, a fairly weighted woolly bugger. We've put some small streamers there to the smallest nymph. So it, you know, this magnet is very strong. It'll hold, you know, a, a fair amount. So the front pocket right here, we have your tippet system. You can put several spools in, probably up to five or six spools. Uh, I have my 5X and 6X in there. Right now I have it rigged up for trouts on limestone streams, so fairly smaller one in central Pennsylvania. Uh, and then also I keep in here some strike indicators and a sample jar for taking some insect samples for tying. Moving on to the larger pocket. In here you can fit several fly boxes. We like to use the tacky fly boxes. They're thin, so it fits in here very easily. Also I have an Orvis Super Slim for some nymphs. Uh, so if you use that type of fly box, you're going to be able to fit a ton of storage in here. And it also comes with, we don't have it in here right now, a foam pad that actually uh, gets Velcroed to the very front, right in here, that you can just stick flies on. We never use it. It's something that, it you know, it never really stuck very well, so, you know, William Joseph could definitely work on that feature with it. Then we have your zingers right here in the front. You got one on either side here and here. I only make use of the one for my uh, snips. I have a pair of uh, baby clippers actually for nails. Now the only downside of these is the placement. Now this could be something that really bothers you. I've learned to live with it. My brother has learned to live with it. We both use this pack all the time. With the magnet, sometimes these clippers will get stuck inside. You're going to close it. It's an inconvenience, but like I said, uh, it's not a huge issue for us. On the sides here, you have pockets that I can keep sunglasses in here, which is normally what I do. I have my floatant on the other side for when I'm fishing dries. And also, little straps right here that I put a leader straightener on. Uh, you get some curls in your leaders, be able to straighten those out. Then also the tool storage, right on the very top. It's open to the air. So what we put in here is I keep a thermometer, my forceps, and then also for some of my fly boxes I have a pair of tweezers in here just in case. And so moving on to the back now. Alright, so for the back of the pack, you're going to have a lot of storage back here. Now the one downside is you have all this in the back, there's not access to it. So you're going to want to keep your fly boxes back here that you might not be planning on using, but you want to have with you just in case. Right now we're doing this review in the winter. So in the back here, I have some dry fly storage. Got my box in here. And 
If you want to zoom in a little closer on there, there's your netting. I keep all my fly boxes behind there uh, so they're you know tight against my back. I also keep in here an extra spool. I you know love a Ross reel. If you get a chance, check those out. And so I have my sinking line, my sinking tip on that. Uh, plenty of storage back here as well. If you want to take your lunch, you want to throw some snacks in there. Uh, it's definitely a good system that you'll be able to do that. So you can spend a lot of time on the water. Like I mentioned before, there's that air track suspension. So it is very comfortable. You can throw some lunch in there. You'll be able to fish all day with it. We have done that uh, and not experienced any discomfort. Now the next pocket down, right here. Normally what I do on this, I just throw some snacks back here. I got some granola bars, things like that. You know, say I was, you know, to put you know, some smaller snacks, things like that. And you can also throw fly boxes back there, so whatever your preference is. Then in the small pocket on the front, I store some extra liters. Have a variety here in case you need to, you know, do a quick switch up, you know, in the middle of the day of fishing. And then also, uh, you have your straps on the bottom here. Now this is something I've, you know, your imagination is really whatever limits you to from what you want to put there. We've put tripods there for filming. We put rod tubes there. Sometimes I want to take a streamer rod out, but, you know, say nymphing is better, I'm going to use that rod. I can keep a rod tube there very tightly and snugly. In the spring, I have a wading raincoat that I'll roll that up into a, you know, a roll, strap it down real tight, you're good to go. Then up here, you have this band that goes from side to side. You know, again, whatever you want to hang here, you can do. Uh, what we do is we, we put our nets off of the back. I use a magnetic attachment system uh, for, the, for the nets that we use. Also, you can hang a retractor there for your net, whatever your, your preference is. And one more feature that I do want to point out, just a little customization that we had done, uh, is on our GoPro mount in the front here. So, again, GoPros, you can put them anywhere. And we'll run a couple of clips here, show you what the footage actually looks like. Uh, you get some great footage, that's how we film most of our fly fishing videos. But what we did was we took the packaging from the GoPro, strapped it onto the strap with just some zip ties. You know, we drilled some holes in it, cut the, uh, the, the mount a little bit to where it would fit onto the strap, and zip, just zip tied it to there. You get your mount, and you just strap that right on, and you're good for a day of filming. All right, so some, for some of our final thoughts on the William Joseph Confluence chest pack. Before I go into that though, I do want to do a quick disclosure statement. We are in no way affiliated or sponsored by William Joseph. This is purely our opinion on the product. Uh, but, you know, with everything, this, I've fished with this for about a year and a half, two years, and I absolutely love it. I don't think I could see myself ever going to anything else. Just everything about it. The design is just so intuitive. William Joseph really hit the nail on the head with this product right here. If I were to rate it a five, you know, out of five, I would most certainly give it a five. Uh, you're going to be able to find this uh, at a retail price of about one fifty. Like I said, I think it's worth every penny. If you do have any additional questions though that we didn't cover in the video, uh, please feel free to comment below, or for the best chance of reaching us, email us at backyardbassin2016 at gmail.com. Also, if you want to see what our opinion is on the Sims Headwater Sling Pack, the small one, click on the link to the video right here, and you'll be able to see what our thoughts are on that. Thank you again for watching, and we'll see you next time on Backyard Bassin'.